Today we will have a look at a very special camera um, that was um, in my family, that has been in my family for uh, uh, more than a century. And this is the glyphoscope, um, which is the low end of the Veriscope system and that was issued at the end of the 19th century uh, at the beginning of photography and um, it's uh, very special because it belonged to uh, my uh, great uncle and uh, her sister is uh, still alive she's 93 years old and she gave me the the camera as well had a lot of plates and um, this is a, a camera that has been used a lot i mean uh, i've got a lot of plates um, using that special camera that has been used uh, since end of the 19th century and was used before first world war during first world war i mean i've got photos of the of the of the war i've got the the, the, the photos of the uh, Versailles Treaty and that was used afterwards uh, with my family uh, with photos from uh, the 20s the 30s and just beginning stopped just beginning at the at the end of uh, at the beginning of Second World War and this all came through and um, it's a very special camera because it was very um, it's a it's it's a stereoscope camera. Uh, I mean, you you you've got the three D uh, of the um, of the nineteenth century, and this is really impressive. I mean, I've got a lots of plates like that, like that one, and you see what was written uh, aviation, and what it does is you 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 get some uh, plates. Uh, like this is this is uh, great you know I've got a full box of plates uh, that are a stereoscope view I mean when you when you use the, the, the camera as a distance and you you get a 3d view and those are our um, photos taken uh, this is the the world record of three kilometer 500 uh, that was uh, done in uh, the 21 uh, third of two of uh, not 2008 but 1908 of a plane uh, that broke the, the world record of three kilometer 500 flying in uh, uh, 1908 and uh, this was um, taken in ici les moulineaux and i've got a few uh, a full box of those uh, so uh it's like a, a a treasure she gave me yes you know and the way to look at those is to use another thing like that which is a uh, which is called uh, i don't know what it's called huh. it's written there i guess say a stereoscope you know stereoscope and you just drop the plate here on the side you you dig it and you you put the the little uh, glass plate on the side and there is a, a little uh, the depoli that you i don't know what it's called in uh, in english and you look in those um, goggles and then you see in 3d the view which is really impressive i mean it's uh, it's uh, when you look at that it's it's great i mean it's uh, like you you would be there i mean uh, the, the 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 quality of the of the of the picture are really impressive and the, the 3d effect is is really wor working great and uh, the whole system is there and i've got boxes and boxes and boxes of of such plates uh i mean i will scan some of them probably the ones with the with the the writing here it would be interesting to to use some uh, some um uh, 3d transfer or to to use uh to use it in a maybe in some um viewer now that you that you use for virtual reality i mean it it, it should be possible because you just have to scan it it's the right distance and and you can see the 3d I, I will i will do my research to see if that's possible but first of all i will scan some of those and i've got about i don't know 
300 of those boxes and some are with my uh, family members and I was lucky enough to uh, to be able to ask uh, who is the guy there and I can see my grandfather, my uh, grandmother, my grand-grandfather, my grand-grand-grandfather and uh, it's very it's very nice and um, as I said it's, this ranges from uh, at the end of 19th century, I think the oldest I have eight, eight, uh, 1890 or something like that. And uh, um, the other thing I would I would like to do is is try to use it, uh, really try to to shoot something with that camera, and it must be very interesting. So as I said, the the, the idea is to to try to to use it. Um, which is a bit of a challenge um, because this is using uh, plates. So the way I understand it is um, you can either use that viewer to uh, to uh, to select your 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 view, you know, or you can look into into here uh, because you will you would see the picture rev I guess reversed. Um, I think so, um, and then. You uh, got here, or oh, maybe it's a wrong size side. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you've got here. Um, I think it's it's a speed selection, zero to one. Mm, I think I need to find some some manual somewhere. You cock the searcher here, and then you shoot, <laughs> which is um, again. You can see it's uh, working. So I guess different uh, speed and this one different speed, right? And this one I'm not sure what it does. I need to do my research and to uh, to to see what he really do. But uh, I, I guess it's it's really rather simple to use. Um, I think the shutter should be something like uh, one hundredth of a second or something like that. Um, the plates uh, for one are um, Hillfort uh, London plates, and you you can have the the indication of uh, uh, the developer to use. Um, I think I've got some unused plates. So that should be a, a way to go, and uh, the way to 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 load that is you've got some um, plates older, right? Um, I opened that one. Unfortunately, there was also plates inside. So I think if there was a, a, a photo inside, I, I ruined it. I'm, I'm really sad about that. But anyway, uh, yeah, still a, a plate in it that has been ruined. But you see, there's a. Um, um, this is uh, to to prevent. Uh, I mean, the, the light for entering, like a, uh, a light leak, uh, to prevent light leaks. And you insert the plate inside, right? You put the plate inside in the dark. You close it, right? So now it's sealed. You've got your your. Um, your quantity of, of films ready to be shot, ready, uh, you do that in the dark and then you go on, on the field. And then when you want to shoot, you just need to, you can have a look in that and then you can um, remove it. Ah, it's a bit stiff. And again, I think uh, I, have, I would have to repair that if I want to use it because it's going a bit away. So you see, uh, by the way, you see the, the internals. I don't know if you can see that, but you've got the two lens and it's just a hole with two lens, uh, basically. Um, and then you you enter your your plate holder in there, the same way you 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 remove the the viewer. Uh, so it's a bit tricky because that needs to be repaired a bit. Yeah. So once it's entered. Uh, which again is a bit stiff. Uh, hmm. Then you can uh, you can remove the internal. I think I put it probably in the wrong direction. Let me check. Yes, that was the wrong direction. That's the difficulty. So you have to enter that here. Again, I will have to try to repair that. Uh, 
So this is inside and uh, then it's it's light protected so you can you can remove the with that part and then you're ready to to shoot okay so <clears throat> i'm very interested in trying to shoot that um one way to do it or to try i think would be to uh, uh to use uh, an instax film uh, so probably I, I will shoot only on one side uh, because i don't have an instax film to go all around but I think it's it would be probably the size of an insect film and something I will I will probably do and try in, in another video just to have the pleasure to 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 shoot uh, that uh, little beauty uh, the glyphoscope from uh, Jules Richard Paris uh, which is patented breveté and uh, uh, so what else uh, you see Jules Richard Paris here and um, again I, I saw some ads uh, on the old ads when you see uh, the full range you've got the glyphoscope and you've got the veriscope which is the high end this is apparently the low end and i think i should be able to 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 dig on the web to find some uh, some uh, uh, you know some manual uh, to to understand what those uh, uh, speeds are but the lens seems to be okay to me and uh, the the really the treasure is that in that is is all those uh, plates especially that one uh, which is all the the beginning of uh, of airplanes uh, uh 1908 and and so on I, I will i will scan some of them and put them at the end of the of the video and uh if you think this is interesting uh, tell me if you want to see some more plates because I've, I've got hundreds and hundreds of them um, So um, tell me uh, I can I can scan some more and, and do some more videos I think it's very interesting and if you think I should try and shoot uh, That that camera maybe uh, first that with with instax film. Let's just tell me um, I could also maybe I thought take some uh, uh 120 film and and cut uh, to size and, and try that um obviously this is uh, this is a uh, the plates are positive so i'm not sure if you had to do that in two steps i think so you had to 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 shoot one in, in negative and and then shoot again negative again negative to get a positive because you you look like a um, in, in a positive inside all those plates were positive plates i'm not sure again um uh and i've got some old ones which is could be another option try to shoot one of those old uh more than a century old plates that are brand new <laughs> or brand new or what weren't used um the issue is is uh is uh, what kind of developer to use uh again there is a there's a there's a mixture explained here um one ounce of sulfate and 20 ounce of so what and 30 grains of sodium hydrate or whatever there's a uh, one uh, potassium bromide uh, but mm, uh, i'm not i'm not sure i can find the ingredients or if anybody has any idea um i don't know i could also try um rodinol and, and see what it does <laughs> why not uh, no idea then when in uh, I don't think I can uh, develop the plates inside a, a usual um, you know um, older for for films for development so I'm, I'm not sure what to use for that so maybe the first easier way uh, would be to uh, to try with some intact instax films because they are positive and you can see the result directly and and why not and it's easy to 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 put an instance films in the dark in one of those one of those plates older so let's try that and uh it's nice because all the plates got uh, i've got a number you see you've got the five the three so i guess when you had to shoot you can uh, you could uh, you could look and say okay number six i took in that place and number another eight and and so on so you could uh, you could uh, find your 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 way into that and uh, as I said, there was a one plate in those one of those uh, 
uh, older, so I'm, I'm, I will open the next one in the dark, just in case I've got plates inside that I might want to develop. <coughs> and if I want to develop them, I want to be sure that I, uh, I get the, the right recipe, so I've got to, uh, to do my test before. So that was the glyphoscope from Jules Richard, uh, uh, you know, uh, stereoscope 3D from the 90, uh, from for more than uh, more than a century ago. I mean, this this guy must be 130 or under 40 years old, and he's been using intensively for at least 50 years. So he was, uh, I got a lot of pictures, and and I'm going to show you some of them. And, uh, well. Tell me in the comments what you think about that. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, and see you next time with another camera. Bye bye.